Hello friends and family. We are starting to pack for South Africa here. I'm packing my supplements right here. So I'm doing fish oil, a multivitamin, and then I'm gonna put a vitamin D. Also, I have this. So this is the entire trip's worth of doxycycline. This is for malaria. It is 11 o'clock at night and our flight is tomorrow at 6 p.m. I'm going to be taking this big boy backpack just one luggage just this luggage and then this tiny luggage hey everyone at this point in time all of the footage from our very first trip to africa has been shot it was a 16 day trip that covers four countries in southern africa we saw so many animals including elephants warthogs giraffes sharks birds of all kinds and more lions than i ever dreamed of seeing in real life in the wild we got very lucky on this trip i'm gonna be splitting this trip into individual parts so that you can see and get a more immersive experience with my family and i on this trip. After those individual parts are finished and posted on the channel, I'll create a supercut video similar to the video I created for Thailand. I'll link that in the description so that you can watch that after this video. I want to thank any and all of you who have been watching my videos from the very beginning of this channel until now. Also, thank you to all the new viewers we've gained in the past year and a half on this channel. This 16 day trip to Africa was incredible and this journey to Cape Town, South Africa is just the prologue to our great adventure together. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you enjoy this trip. I just finished filming another episode of Andre and Aryan, our pre-South Africa episode. So if you want to watch that replay of the live stream, it's up on the channel now. Shout out to Caitlin and Jagmeet for joining us during the live stream. That was really cool to have interactions with the people in the chat and we are going to be leaving to the airport. We checked in and we were able to get through immigration and security. I got something to eat. I came here to Tapa King. It's my very first time eating here. The normal tapa, the sweet and spicy tapa, three eggs, a chara. They also gave me some vinegar. This is the sweet and spicy with a little bit of egg and vinegar. It's definitely spicy. I would probably give this tapa a five out of 10. We have the normal tapa with a little bit of egg. I would give this tapa a two out of 10. Definitely get the spicy. I'm just gonna chill by the gate here and wait until we board the plane. So we've just landed in Dubai. I think the coolest thing, the single coolest thing about this airport is that it's silent. There's no announcements going on in the intercom. There's nothing that's gonna warn you that your flight is about to leave. It's all up to you to make sure that you end up at your gate on time. We have three hours to kill here. Our flight is at 3.50 and it's about 12.50 right now. We're gonna kill some time here before we hop on our flight to South Africa. So we're going up the elevator here. I'm gonna see if... Reception. I'm gonna showers. see... I'm gonna see if there's showers here. <laughs> time the spa. Okay, let's try it out. Can I just purchase just the shower? Alrighty guys, luckily I'm the only one in here. <laughs> I'm the only one here that's uh, gotten to take the shower. So downstairs where all the terminals are, I tried one place and it was called Relax and they didn't have showers. They said it was under maintenance. So this is the entrance. This is where you come in and then you have this mirror here. So that's pretty cool. And then this is just your standard bathroom. That's a toilet. This is another toilet. You have the body length urinals, but here is where the true show starts. You have shower gel, shampoo, and conditioner here. They provide the towels and the razors, shower cap and all that good stuff. So this is your first option. This is the first shower that you can get here. Second shower is right behind. So the second shower looks like this. This is how big I am. The shower is much bigger than me. This one's a bit smaller, so I'm going to go into the other shower and use that one. Loki, this is one of the calmest experiences I've ever had. 
in an airport. I'm not the only one that thinks this is cool, right? <laughs> so I was sweating from the heat from the Philippines and I was uh, sitting in all of that in the last flight and the flight was about eight hours. So this is gonna feel amazing. The shower is one of those places that I use to let my mind be free, think and relax. There are so many distractions you can get caught up in during the day, but taking even five to 10 minutes to slow down and reset your mind is an important skill to practice. During this shower in Dubai, I thought about the time I would spend with my family during this trip. I thought about the adventures that are waiting to be captured and how I would feel editing those adventures for you all to enjoy. I no longer have that travel stench with me. I think one of the biggest things that I'm looking forward to most is actually just spending time with my dad. We really missed him in Thailand. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say, but I'm looking forward to seeing my dad. <laughs> I told you guys that this airport is silent, right? There's no overhead speakers like it's really zen it's really quiet a lot of people especially now that it's like midnight a lot of people are sleeping just imagine this i'm walking around this entire airport and whenever i walk by and people are sleeping they hear this and i see other people in this airport they have carry-on luggages just like this but they don't make a noise mine is like a chainsaw Thank you. <laughs> I'm about to go downstairs again and I don't know how to face these people. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mom, goodbye. Thank you. All right, so we have just touched down in Cape Town and we're gonna get my check-in bag and then find the transportation to the hotel. It's a little bit cloudy out here. I'll see you guys in the next clip. So you're driving where you are now? Yeah, we usually drive on the left. <laughs> All right. Yeah. How far is the hotel? Uh, 15 minutes to... 20 minutes. Oh, not so bad. The shuttle as well. You see the cabin crew I told you? They're coming there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They like to party, stay away from me. Whoa. 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 Aryan's very hungry. I'm so hungry, dude. I'm <laughs> so, I'm so ready. Period. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Okay. I brought these. They're called dewberries. We talked about them uh, last week when we yeah, were talking to each on other. On our live stream, yeah. Yeah, so I brought Aryan these. You opened them. Okay, okay, here we go. I wanted, them, I wanted um, her to try them out. I yeah. know, I'm excited to try it out too. Yeah. I was I'm thinking about it after. Uh, we're waking up 5.15 tomorrow. That's too early tomorrow. Well, then you wake up 6.10. Yeah. Depends on how fast you can wake up tomorrow. Wait, hold on. How do you open it? Do you like open it? Do you see? 6 a.m. alarm. Set for 6 a.m. Come on, brother. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's the hold up? Dude, my brain isn't functioning. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. Do I just. How do you do it? Just open it. Do <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, now I'm laughing and I, my hands can't focus. It's been a long day, guys. I have been traveling for the past 32 hours, I want to say. Yeah. It's hitting her. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Come on. <laughs> Use your back muscles. Stop. <laughs> no, wait. This shouldn't be so hard to do, is it? Yeah, it's designed for children. <laughs> is there like a like a like a pull here thing or not? I don't know. This is part of the gift. Have you Stop! Wait, have you- you've opened it though, right? Of course! How did you open I've it? I've eaten so- one time, one day, I ate a whole <laughs> box. Like, the whole thing. Wait, how? <laughs> 30 of these. Stop! That's so many I can't cookies. laugh it. That's so much. There we go. There you go. Heck yeah, that was a good pop. Right. That was so worth it. Okay. 
Do you want to try dabs? Yeah, yeah. There's three. There's three in one. Oh, no, no. So we'll, one. we'll just open one and then okay. we'll each try one. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. All right. Ooh. Okay. Should I like take it out? Oh uh, yeah. Just here. Yeah, I'll take one. Yeah. You Give take one, one to dad and then we'll. Padre. We'll do it. Your Glock. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. So how do you discover these, Pia? Uh, where? It's Ita Mae's house. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> But this is the best one. There's this also, the well, yeah, what? there's also there strawberries flavors? and cream and a blueberry cheesecake. Oh, cool. But uh, this one I found was the best. Yeah. Well, that's sick. It looks yummy. It looks like a good snack. I would eat it blueberry down. Blueberry, oh, to get it on your, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. Yeah, no, that's, that's real. Yeah. Blueberry. Grab Pia, yours. Pia said to eat it with the blueberry part at the bottom so that it's like, you can taste it, you know? Yeah, yeah, like that? Yeah. Okay, wait. Okay, ready? Ready, one. One. Cheers. Wait, cheers. Okay, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, mm -hmm. It's got a burst of blueberry flavor, mm -hmm. and then that's really good. There's a like cream inside too, mm -hmm. and the crunch of the cookie is really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the texture is good. Yeah, blueberry. and when you mix it together, it tastes really good. I... Do I... I have another one? Yeah, yeah that's okay. the point. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. There's other uh, flavor. Uh, there's strawberry, mm -hmm. but I didn't bring. Yeah, I only brought the blueberry. And this one is good though. I like the blueberry. Yeah. Blueberry. <laughs> He's grabbing it. Yeah. It's good. It's really good. No, wait, I like that a lot. I can see. It's like a cheesecake. Kind I feel of. like you can eat it very easily. It's like a blueberry cheesecake. That's really good. But Thank like you it. for bringing it, Kuya. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Cool. Mm hmm. Yeah. Try it out. It's good. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, if you ever find these in Asia. Mm -hmm. Or anywhere in the world, try mm -hmm. them out. Blueberries, Blueberries and cream, mm -hmm. specifically. Yes. It is about half past 5 a.m. The first official full day in South Africa. We're gonna go to Aryan's room. I'm staying with my dad. <laughs> we have our own room, but my sister and my mom are staying in a separate room over here. We're gonna see if she's awake, see if she's ready for call time. Yeah, as you can see out here, it's still pitch black. Yeah, the sun hasn't come up yet, so yeah, let's see. Hi. Hey, Hi, Did you see your pants and your shirt? Yeah, I got them. The pants look nice. Oh, yeah. The pants look I mean, super nice. When I nice. saw it, I'm like, is there a ladies? <laughs> version, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I and they're like, light. And they, they're they stretchy. dry so fast. And they dry fast. Yeah, yeah, like I just placed them like in the morning and the afternoon. I'm ready dry. to go. Yeah. By the way. It's so cool. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Are you coming with us? Just walk before your breakfast. I'm gonna dry my hair. Okay. I, I, I'll see where I am at. Okay. Yeah. You, you know where it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. What floor was that? It was just first was floor. Yeah. 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 Um, until what time are you gonna be there? Uh. Well, it, I, I don't, don't know. I don't maybe think, maybe but... we'll maybe we'll go down and eat breakfast at six thirty and then shower. Do you have time? Well, I'm a boy. I don't know about Girl, I might, like, women. I don't know. It depends on how much I sweat. Cause if I don't sweat that much, we'll see. You, yeah, you can I'll just. I'll have stay. my own thing and I'll tell you. What yeah, I'll have my own thing. Yeah, but we'll figure it out. It's not six thirty. Stop. Bless you. Huh? And the, 
6.30 and then 7.15 Yeah, 7.15 is the so, meeting, right? Oh, are you right? recording right now? Don't yeah. be late, Hi, Don't good morning <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> 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 what? Girl, it's raw you, you are gonna be okay It's raw it's, the, it's our first full day in South Africa. This is important <laughs> memories. This is the first time we're in Africa, Mom. <laughs> okay. It was really natural. <laughs> okay, come on. See you guys. Hey, okay. don't be late. Okay. Love you. Love you. We just, we'll just be a little late. I'm actually kind of hyped for this workout right now. Yeah. I'm in the workout mood. I haven't worked out, out like in a while because it's been like so busy and stuff. Yeah. But, like, um, everything like tennis and dance yeah so like i haven't been like consistently at the gym so i miss the gym yeah and how old are you i'm 14. <laughs> Stop. i started when i was 16. well you know it's it's good to start it's a different you want it's to. a different world yeah it's a brave new world it's a brave new world did you sleep now? Yeah, I slept well. That's good. I took melatonin and actually. I woke up like twice, but I'm pretty sure like those were just light and then I like slept. Yeah. Did That's you take nice. melatonin? No, I don't take melatonin. Okay. I was I took well, it and then twenty one. minutes later I was like, oh, I'm kinda sleepy. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hello friends and family. So this was basically Aryan and I's routine throughout this 16 day trip. We would wake up two hours before call time for the entire group that we were traveling with during this tour. And today it was 7.15. So 7.15 was the orientation. And so we woke up at 5.15 as you saw earlier. And then the workout would be around 45 minutes to one hour. And then we would have a quick breakfast, shower, and then get ready and be early, maybe like five, 10 minutes early for the call time of the day. Most days during this trip, we were waking up at around five to 6 a.m. There were a few days during this trip where we would have to wake up something crazy like 3 a.m., 3.30, 4 a.m., but that was because we had an early flight at 6 a.m. So we were forced to wake up a bit earlier. Usually when I'm traveling, I like to maximize my training by doing full body style training. So after the warm up, we started with these planche style push ups, and it's a more difficult variation of a normal push up. So this allowed me to overload my chest and do something a bit different for the chest, hit it from a different angle and challenge myself in a different way and now we're on to legs I wanted to kind of share some travel hacks that I have for you guys if you find yourself traveling so what I do is I pack protein powder with me during this trip I packed about four pounds of protein powder I rationed out the protein powder so that I would have four scoops a day and that comes out to 100 grams of protein each and every day so if you're a girl if you're a guy this may change for you but I strive to get at least 180 to 200 grams of protein every single day and especially when you're traveling you want that protein powder in order to maintain the muscle mass that you do have when you're not training as intensely or as heavily. It really gives me peace of mind to have that protein powder while I'm traveling because yes, I do want to enjoy the food, but most of the time, if we're being honest, protein sources are not as available when you're traveling. Another tip I would give you guys if you're traveling with friends or family is to find a workout partner in that group you're traveling with. If you don't have a workout partner, it is much harder to find the motivation to wake up extra early before everyone. But if you have at least one person to go through that with you, it will help you immensely. I don't think Ariane and I missed one workout that we scheduled in the night before during this entire trip. But when we got to those hotels that didn't have gyms, we were like, okay, it's cool. We'll have a rest day. Watching this footage back, Ariane and I had no idea what was in store for us during this trip. We did so many cool things on this trip that I can't wait to share with you guys. And I can't wait for you guys to see the only thing that is in between me and sharing those videos is the editing time so thank you thank you for everyone that is being patient with me the first 
thing that we do on this first day. So after this workout, we go straight to Table Mountain. And if you don't know anything about Cape Town, Cape Town in the backdrop of the entire city, you know, millions of people live here. The backdrop is Table Mountain. And this mountain is just insane. From anywhere in the enormous city of Cape Town, you can see Table Mountain just looming in the background. And it's just the coolest thing about this city, nature-wise. Something else that happened later this day that I wasn't able to capture is that when we visited Table Mountain, of course there were like other people visiting the mountain, but we saw some people climbing down the mountain in a very sketchy way. Like they were just going down the mountain, no ropes, no equipment, and it's so steep. You'll see this in the next video when we cover Table Mountain, but if you fall off the side of Table Mountain, you'll either seriously injure yourself or the worst could happen. But after we came down from the top of Table Mountain, I looked back up while we were waiting for the bus and there was someone paragliding. So those people that we saw free climbing down the mountain, they were just trying to find somewhere to jump off the mountain so that they could paraglide, which was insane. And our tour guide told us that that was completely illegal. So they were not allowed to do that off of Table Mountain. The government does not allow paragliding off of Table Mountain. I remember seeing this video on the internet where someone is paragliding and they land on the wrong roof and then the security comes after them. And what they do is that they jump off of that building and just land onto the beach. So I'm not sure if that was in Cape Town, maybe it was, but it was the same kind of energy that I felt from those people that were willing to jump off of this enormous mountain right next to a major city. This is what Table Mountain looks like from Cape Town. If you can see that tiny, tiny building at the top right of the mountain, that's where the gondola will be taking us in the next video. That's also where those paragliders jumped off the mountain. I hope you enjoyed traveling with me to South Africa for the very first time. Subscribe to be notified of the next video in this Africa series. I'll link that video right here when it's finished or click on this video to enjoy our adventure in Thailand.